Hey, sleepy head. <laughs> Come on downstairs. I got something for you. Dad, is it Christmas tomorrow? I couldn't wait. Come on down. Come on. Come on. Come on. Keep those eyes closed. Keep them closed. Oh, mother. Watch for that. <laughs> okay. One, two, three. Merry Christmas! <laughs> So, what do you kids think, huh? Well, it's, uh, it's cozy. <laughs> Where did it come from, Arthur? Did you build it? <laughs> no, no. What we have here is a Duschenberger, made in Luxembourg, most popular car on the road over there. Well, I assume they are tiny people. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this old buddy of mine happens to be an importer, cheese mostly, but when I told him my kids needed new wheels, he pulled some strings and got me this one. Right off the boat. You know how fast this thing goes zero to 60? How fast? I don't know. It's nice, Dad, but you really, really shouldn't have. No, no. You kids deserve this. No, we don't. Sure you do. You're going to be the envy of the neighborhood. See? Check out all the looks we get. Oh, oh my God! Go faster! I'm already going as fast as I can! I got $42 to get in. I remember when you could ride the roller coaster for 10 cents and it'd take you anywhere in the city. Arthur, I think that's the subway. What happened to Carrie? Oh, she's over there getting a cobra tattoo. Thought it'd be hot. How'd you get her to do that? I just threaten to cry and become a carpenter. Oh, you're really milking this whole midlife crisis thing, huh? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now I'm happy, she's happy. Oh, listen, by the way, if it comes up, I threw Carrie a little bone, all right? I told her O'Boyle was recommending me for that boss school. The management training program. Whatever. Point is, Tuesday nights from 7 to 9, I'm not at the movies. Hmm? Hey, this thing does come off, right? I hope not, because I couldn't want you more. All right, so what's the plan? Well, Danny and I are going to hit the haunted castle. Yeah, scared chicks are very approachable. Now I'm taking Major to the kids' zone. Oh, OK, so we'll just meet back here at 2 o'clock. All right? All right. Okay. Good. Wait a minute. Who's going to take my dad? I don't need a caretaker. Just point me in the direction of the bearded lady, and I'll be on my way. Dad, I don't want you off on your own. You know what? Maybe we should just take him with us. I can't go on the roller coaster. He's got bladder issues, and he unlatches the safety bar. Deep. Oh, we're, we're, we're going on the, uh, the merry-go-round. I'm sure Arthur would. I love the merry-go-round. <laughs> well, great. Have fun, and don't let him have any chocolate, okay? Bye. Come on, buddy. Uh, settle down. Why is the line so long? Get used to it. Life is one long line, except at the end of it, there ain't no merry-go-round. Do you mind, Arthur? Look. Partner, why don't we get on something that's not so long, like uh, the Hall of Nutrition? No, I want to go on the horses. What would you say if I told you I could get the three of us to the front of this line and every other line in this park? You don't like seeing a man in a wheelchair? Then don't send me to Korea. You're welcome for your freedom. Right this way, sir. Arthur, what are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing, Einstein? <laughs> it looks like you're unloading dirty dishes, Einstein. They're clean, Einstein. No, they're dirty. I just loaded them, and I went to the store to get a box of detergent, Einstein. Well, why didn't you leave a note saying that, Einstein? Right, stop calling me Einstein. Stop calling me Einstein. <laughs> no big deal, OK? We'll just reload the dishwasher and wash them. OK, now, which, which of these did you already put away? 
Let's see, I definitely remember putting away a blue bowl with big white and yellow sunflowers on it. Okay, we don't own anything close to that. <laughs> we might have a problem. All right, then we have no other choice. We're just gonna have to wash everything we own. <sighs> this never happened. Righto. <laughs> Hello, Spence. Oh, hey, Arthur. Riding the subway today, are we? Yes, I'm taking an art course, and it requires me to use some pretty unsavory transportation. <laughs> you have nothing to worry about. This is a very safe line. Said the man behind the protective glass. <laughs> well, I'm off. Click me through, please. <laughs> I can't do that, Arthur. You have to buy a Metro card or a token. <laughs> That's rich. Seriously, I gotta move. Come on. I'm sorry, I can't do it. Not even for your best friend? We're not best friends. Sure we are. What's my last name? Smith? Nope. Cornfeld? Arthur, it's a dollar fifty. Buy the freaking token. Fine. I'll just go without my medication today. I'm sure my blood is thin enough already. All right, just go. You're a man of honor, Spence. By the way, it smells like urine down here. <laughs> Take care of that, will you? <laughs> Hi, Spence. Arthur, I did it as a favor for you the other day, but I can't let you on for free again. I see. Well, I suppose if I have to pay, then I shall pay. All right. No, it's not all right, you little weasel. <laughs> you let me in this turnstile, or I'll pull you through this lot and ride you down those stairs like a toboggan. <laughs> look in my eyes. Do I look like I'm kidding? <laughs> Do I? Hello, Spence. What do you want? I think you know what I want. <laughs> no. You know what? I'm not letting you on for free anymore, Arthur. My whole life, everyone thinks they can just push me around. You, Larry Saccharici in the eighth grade, my fruit guy. Let me tell you something. I'm putting a stop to it right here and now. I'm not taking any more bruised plums, and I'm not letting you ride my subway for free! My name is Spence Olchin. I sell tokens. Well, I didn't mean to put you in an uncomfortable position. Thank you for saying that. What's that over there? Where? You. So long, douche! <laughs> you turned me in. You're a bigger man than I thought. Just did what I had to do. I respect that. I'll take one token, please. You got it. And, uh, this is for you. In your mind! Oh, Douglas, just the man I was hoping to find. Hey, arthritis. <laughs> say a phrase and I want your instant reaction. Don't think, just speak. Half price footwear. Go. Pass. Next question. Style White Shoes is having a father and son shoe sale. Father buys a pair, son gets a pair for free. If we go in together, we get two for one and we split the cost. All I need is for you to pretend you are my son. Right, right. No. 
You do understand we are talking about half-price footwear. Yes, I do understand that. I also understand that you had some kind of sausage for lunch. <laughs> Sorry, not interested. Fine, you have just wise guyed your way out of a very sweet deal, friend. You picked yourself a real loser, darling. <laughs> I don't know about this, Arthur. I mean, pretending to be your son, that's, that's kind of like lying. Oh, you don't like lying, but you sure jumped for joy when I mentioned half-price shoes, didn't you? <laughs> now, shut your pie hole and start calling me daddy. <laughs> hey there, can I help you? Uh, Yes, I'd like to see these in a nine and a half. What would you like, son? Clark's Wallaby, size seven. That's my boy. <laughs> hey, uh, you and your son sit tight and I'll go grab him. He bought it. <laughs> what a rush. <laughs> Just out of curiosity, what's the story with your real father? Oh, uh walked out on me and my mom when I was two. And uh, this little charade must be very painful for you. Yeah, actually... Shut uh... up, he's coming. <laughs> I found them both. Oh, terrific. You know, it's funny, I remember the very first pair of big boy shoes I bought for this kid. You know what he said? My toes got their own house now. <laughs> uh, so, uh, how did those fit? Wonderfully. They remind me of my first GI government issue. You serve in WW2? Army, 71st Infantry. You're kidding. The 29th. I mean, we were the guys that went in first. I mean, cleared the way for you. <laughs> cleared the way? <laughs> it was no picnic for us, you know. Yeah, but we took a hell of a lot more casualties. Well, sure, but you understand how difficult it was for us? Flipping over all your bodies? <laughs> hey, Dad? We're out of the Rockport loafers. I'll call in an order, okay? Thanks, Scotty. That's my son. Good looking boy. Straighten up. <laughs> hey, I got an idea. What do you say we go out for dinner and drinks? We bring our boys, we tell them how the war really was, how my unit saved your ass. I mean, how we saved yours, uh, but uh, we'll pick this up at Tony Roma's. Uh, actually, Dad, I'm kind of busy with things right now. I don't have time. Well, you sure find time to shoe shop. You can't sit with these good people for an hour and have dinner. Now take those off and go wait for me in the car. Hello. Oh, hey, Arthur, it's me, Doug. What can I do you for? Actually, I was just calling to check the messages off of the machine. So just hang up and I'll, I'll call right back. Gotcha. Hello. Arthur, didn't I just ask you not to pick up? No, you said I should hang up and you'd call right back. <laughs> okay, what I meant was I wanted the machine to get it, not you. I'm trying to check my messages. You want me to just check them for you? No, no, thank you, no. Last time you did that, you erased all the messages and our outgoing messages and unplugged the lamp. <laughs> just let it ring, okay? That's your world. I just live in it. glass of water. You want some? No, look, I'm 76 years old and I don't need a babysitter. I should be babysitting you. Look, man, Doug just asked me to check in on you. I'm just being nice. Nice? My ass! You just like playing God. I could be at home with my wife and kids. Do you also sit in front of them eating cheese puffs like a wolverine? You want me to leave? I want that with every fiber of my being. Fine, then I'm out of here. Good. And thank you for the doodle crumbs.
Hi, I have uh, chicken kebabs and a quart of curry clam soup. Well, thank you, my good lad. I'll tell you, you build up quite an appetite delivering packages, which is what I do. <laughs> stones that evil supernatural creatures exist in a world <laughs> It's better than it's back in the socket. <laughs> it got us out of hot air ballooning, huh? Yes, honey, you were so great. Really? Oh, so oh sorry. sorry, Mama. Yes, you were really great this weekend, sweetie. I'm, I know I went a little nuts. I'll get that job somehow. You don't have to worry about it. You ever think of just sleeping with the guy? <laughs> yeah, um, actually, I talked to his uh, current secretary. Apparently, it's a lot of work. <laughs> Hey, Daddy. Darling, Douglas. How was your weekend? Quite nice, except when your friend Deacon stopped by. Why? What happened? He lurched in here, reeking of soup and bourbon. <laughs> went right up into your bedroom. I heard some noise, but I didn't think it was my place to go into your private quarters. All right, fellas, the game is called Kick the Dog. Three, sixes, nines, one eye jacks, suicide, kings are wild. Tell you what, Arthur, why don't you just tell us what's not wild? That's Fondle the Mailman, and we're playing that next. <laughs> Whoa. I got five aces, I don't even have an ace. No one dropped out. In this game, mostly everyone winds up with five aces. <laughs> Uh, it's almost 10. I should call mom. Tell I'm gonna be late. Yeah, you're gonna be very late. You're the only one who's winning. You live with your mother? Yeah, it's a pain, but she doesn't drive, so... So what if she doesn't drive? The woman can't take a bus? Theoretically, yes, but she's used to my car. All right, let's bet. I go a quarter. Who's in? A quarter is. Yeah, up a quarter. All right, let me get this straight. If you live with your mother... Arthur, it's to you. I'm very curious. If you live with your mother... What do you do when you have a girl spend the night? Okay, what do you do when you have a guy spend the night? It's gotta be one or the other, a girl! It would be a girl! Uh, who hasn't been? Look, for your information, I wanna move out, but apartments are very expensive. As it is, we pay $7.50 for a one bedroom. A one bedroom? I say, who hasn't bet? <laughs> Where do you sleep, Arthur? The living room sofa pulls out, that it? <laughs> you share a bedroom with your mother? Twin beds! Twin beds! There's an entire night table between us! Easy, easy! I was just making conversation! <laughs> All right, who's not in? You, you know, I think I better be going. I have something in my eye. Could you, you cash me on, in? Spence. Cash me in, Scooter! <laughs> I hope his eye is okay. <laughs> well, this game is over. I'm out of here. Yeah, me too. You know, I, I haven't seen much of my wife this week. A little strip club. Sure. <laughs> okay, the game is called Spank Your Sister. <laughs> I have never been 
getting so angry. <laughs> Dad, what are you doing here? I told you to wait for me at Mandelbaum's. I couldn't very well wait in the office of a man I'm now suing, could I? What? That charlatan took one little peek at my rash and told me to keep using the ointment. I grabbed my file out of his hands, kicked over his cactus, and ran like a dickens. <laughs> Miss Happenden? Yes, he's ready. Oh, okay, thank you. Young lady, which of your lawyers specializes in dermatology scams? <laughs> he's kidding. Come on. Yeah, now you listen to me, you. Until my interview is over, you will sit there and speak and make eye contact with no one. But I can't. No can... one. Now sit down. Sit. Stay. <laughs> One of the differences between the way we operate and what you might have been used to is that since this is a real estate development firm, the lawyers aren't running the show, unfortunately. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> I mean, we could be going in one direction on a project and then the development guys pull something and we have to do a 180 overnight. Well, actually, what I consider one of my strengths as an assistant is I keep my own cross-reference files on all the cases my boss is working on, so if things change suddenly, I can, uh... You can what? Uh... So often you might be called on to assist one of our senior attorneys at city hearings, negotiations, and so forth. Oh, well, that's very exciting news, because at my old firm, there was really never an opportunity to... <laughs> and I don't have any children, so if I'm required to stay late or go out of town, that doesn't really present a, a problem. <clears throat> in, the, in the sense that I would give my total focus to... <laughs> just get one, one second. I'll be right back. <laughs> Excuse me. What are you doing? I told you not to talk to anybody. He asked me if I was being helped. Damn it, I have a lawsuit to file. Shh. Jim, these are real estate lawyers, okay? They, they don't represent lunatics who want to sue their dermatologists. They all moonlight grow up. Good, sir. <laughs> Stop, what? knock it off. Give me, no. Just give me the lawyer. No. One more sec. <laughs> Hey, Arthur. You're late. Late? You called me 10 minutes ago and told me to be here in 10 minutes. Let's not waste more time with your pathetic excuses. What's going on? You see that man in there? Yeah. I have reason to believe he may be Carrie's real father. What are you talking about? It's a long story. Actually, it's pretty short. <laughs> I think he boinked Carrie's mother. There's only some way I could know for sure. Well, you know what? You could do a DNA test. You know, you send in some of her hair, some of his hair. You'd know in a couple days. How am I going to get his hair? Well, it, it doesn't have to be hair. It can be saliva or a skin sample. Skin sample, huh? I'll be right back. <laughs> hey, Frank. How about we catch up with a good old-fashioned scratch fight? Huh? <laughs> what? You know, a scratch fight, like we used to have back in the neighborhood. You know, just for kicks, huh? What the hell is going on here, Artie? You call me up out of the blue, you invite me over here for crab legs, and instead all I get is tap water. You're absolutely right, Frank. Allow me to apologize by swabbing the inside of your mouth. Okay, I'm out of here. So soon? Wait, you have something in your hair. What? Ow! Turns out it's just a clump of your hair. What are the results? I don't know, Spence. I've been too nervous to open it. Do you want me to look? No, I should do this. According to this, the father is... Spence Olchin. What? You bastard! <laughs> must be some mistake. Yeah, the mistake was letting you anywhere near my wife. I've never met your wife, and I'm only two years older than Carrie. Oh, look at you. You're 50 if you're a day. <laughs> okay, Arthur, the reason my name is on this is because I'm the one who paid for the test, for reasons I still don't understand. Yeah. 
Well, you whittled out of that one pretty good. <laughs> Says right here, Frank Medford, not a match. You're Carrie's father. Well, that's pretty anticlimactic. I'm gonna grab a nap. Darling, let me introduce you to Frank, a.k.a. Mr. Safety. <laughs> Mr. Safety? Reading about this recent crime wave made me concerned for your well-being. Just sit him on the passenger seat in your car when you're going to work, and the carjackers will move on to easier prey. <laughs> Dad, I take the subway to work. Well, then take him on the subway with you. He has no legs. Pretend he's an amputee. Dad, how is a legless doll gonna protect me on the subway? Why are you being so difficult? I'm trying to save your life! <laughs> oh, forget it. Nope. What the hell were you thinking? He promised he'd be back by 10. Yeah, well, he also promised to wear underwear underneath his bathrobe, and we know how that worked out, don't we? <laughs> All right, well, he's not at home, and you didn't leave a message on the machine. This is just great. Will you relax? Okay, I know exactly where he is. Oh, really? Would you mind telling me? He's down by the, uh, you know, the, uh, the docks. The docks? Oh, that sounds like a perfect place for an old man with gout. Where at the docks? He didn't specify, but he did tell me who he was going to be with. Who? A gentleman named Chick. I can't believe you let him run off. God, what if something happened to him? He can take care of himself. Will you stop worrying? All right, well, now we'll go down there, we'll check out a few places, and I'm sure we'll find him. No, no, don't forget to drop me off first. Hello, young lovers. And a boy, Artie. Hey, Chicky! To life, to love, to the lady. I'll drink to that. May I freshen your rusty nail, Lena? You aren't going anywhere, fella. That aims to please. Uh, Carrie, he's in this one! Hey, Douglas, welcome. I want you to meet the gang. That's Chick and Monica. How do you do? Hi, how are you? And this Thanks. young lady is Enid. Pleasure to meet you. Delightful morsel, am I right? Oh, yeah, she's very... Can I see you for a second, please? Yes. Hey. What the hell's going on? You're supposed to be back by 10. And I will. What time is it now? It's 1.30 in the morning. Wow. <sighs> Sorry, big guy. Truth is, I have something marvelous going on with Enid. Enid, huh? Yeah. She's not bad. <laughs> kind of has that worldly, smoky quality. <laughs> so... Can you buy me a little time? I'm gonna level with you, Arthur. Dad? We're dead, man. He's fine. I told you he's fine. He's Dad, okay. He's Dad, good. He's good. What have you been doing? I have been worried half out of my mind about you. Any chance we can discuss this later, darling? Maybe tomorrow? Have you been drinking hard liquor? I may have had a sip or two of a Rob Roy. Why do you ask? Because you have half a liver and you're on nine medications that say do not take with alcohol. That's why I ask. Wow, you weren't kidding, Artie. Short leash. Who the hell are you? Oh, Chick Dugan. Who are you? His nurse? <laughs> no, I am his daughter, and we are in the middle of a private conversation, so why don't you go shake down the vending machines? Oh, excuse me. That's why I like them post-menopause. Mm, I hear that. <laughs> Listen, darling, why don't you kids head for home? Oh, Dad, now? don't be ridiculous. It's almost 2 in the morning. Now, we're going home. Say goodbye to your friends. I'll meet you in the car. Come on, Arthur, we should, we should get going. Right. Artie, take care of yourself. You too, kiddo. All right, come on, partner. Let's go. Yeah. Plenty more where that came from. Sure. The living room is filled with adventure. 